Trouble, trouble, babe. Let's get into it, man. Another lost soul. DTE. We stand on my business. Let's get into this documentary, man. Let's go. School. All right, so I wanted to talk about the death of Trouble Man. Um, somebody that that has carried Atlanta in a different way, man. I, I think he was the last of the Mohicans, man, with this gangster rap. I'm not going to lie to you because it, it just seemed like everything was, like, fabric, fabricated at once, man. And, you know, with him being a real-life blood, he, he, he brought a different type of lingo to the game. Uh, you know, a different type of uh, rap that you never heard before. So you couldn't do nothing but grabs to it. But unfortunately, man, he had his life taken away over something senseless, man. Um, and this is why I say, man, when these guys are out here chasing these Scooby snacks, is it really worth it? So Trouble, um, he died at 3.20 a.m. Uh, they're stating that it was a home invasion at late uh st james apartments in conyers um about 25 miles east of atlanta rockdale county uh sheriff spokesman uh said at a news conference and it's just sad because the person that he got gunned down by was uh, a person that was an affiliate of the whole dirt game but we're gonna get into that you know his name um goes by he goes by the name of j mike but this is just a sad situation, man. When are we going to stop killing each other as black men? You know what I mean? When will the madness stop? But uh, it's just sad because it, it always seems like it's always behind a female. You know, even if it is anger involved and we just can't get along, but it seems like the female is always the common denominator, man. School, why they, why mad, they mad at, at me? me? Let's go. Let's go. Alright, so a lot of y'all might know Trouble from a couple of his hit records like Ain't My Fault, She A Winner, Bussin', Ready, Bring It Back, Brick, Keisha Them, Come Through, You Ain't Street. I mean, the list goes on. But it was people in the streets that didn't really like Trouble, man. And he had a little back and forth with this guy named Young Mozzie. I don't know if y'all remember Young Mozzie. Young Mozzie. He was with the whole uh, Kevin Gates campaign, his camp and everything like that. Um, I can't say Mozzie didn't have pull in the streets, but he was beefing with a lot of people at the same time. You know what I mean? So, which made itself a target, uh, for the most part. But y'all check out this clip and y'all, I want, I want to get y'all honest opinion, like with this whole situation between him and Trouble. If, if you might not like a rapper, you know, they might've played you at one point. So you just go to the studio, they go away. You walk in the booth and you slap shit out of them. You get what I'm saying? That's the slap or rapper challenge. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a deep challenge right there. But you know, it wasn't a lot of people that wanted to partake in that. You know, rap right. started on his first or next thing. All right, man, you know, I'm about to start that slap or rapper challenge. And I'm rapping that anything safe. I remember come slap the shit out of you. Atlanta niggas mainly. Yeah. Edgewood, wherever you fuck you from, man, we come and slap the shit out of you. I vouch for niggas who send a nigga to prison. I can't bail. Hey. You go real air with a nigga though, man. I just woke up, man. It's fuck shit Friday. Who slapping who? Deal with the fuck I'm saying. Shit, you know what I'm saying? It's fuck shit Friday. Deal with what I'm saying. Slap a rubber challenge. Deal with the fuck I'm saying. Scoop. I'm not gonna bust at you. I ain't gonna send nobody to kill you, no nothing. I know y'all niggas send a nigga to prison. I know about y'all. But they get in the ring. Kyle, Baby J, Cool Runner, anybody. They get in there. I'm going to be Tommy Hunter. You Martin, boy. I beat the fuck out your little whole world. All right, so who is J. Mike, man? J. Mike is an affiliate with Dirt, Can Dirt Gang, man. That was the Fab Five. I don't know if you guys remember the uh, Slim Duncan when he was running with Waka Flocka. You got Debo. At that time, Debo was going by the name of D-Dash, and all of them had a clique together, man. It was called Dirt Gang, man, or Fab Five, man. And they really played a big role with uh, Gucci, especially like with his whole entourage, the whole Brick Squad, 1017. I don't know if you guys remember that, but Dirt Gang was also a part of that. So at that time, man, it was really looking like mobsters, man. It's unfortunate about this situation, man. Y'all check out this clip real quick and um, y'all let me know what y'all think. Yeah, 
about this whole situation with J. Mike, man. This is crazy. Mr. Jones, you are charged with felony murder, aggravated assault, battery felony violence, and home invasion in the first degree. All of your charges are felonies except for the battery felony violence, which is misdemeanor. Would you like your warrants read? No. Mom will be denied on your felony murder charge as well as your aggravated assault. Yo, so the woman uh, who was with Trouble, she spoke out. Uh, she made like a little Instagram post, I think. Um, and I'm really not feeling it, man, because you put that man in a situation that could have been avoided. You know what I mean? And I think with some women, man, they only be thinking about themselves in certain situations. Just because you were hurt and you were in a relationship that you already know that was damaged, you continued on, man. I'm pretty sure J. Mike then just you know just pop up out of nowhere um and this is why you guys have to start investigating these women these women that you talk to you know what i mean because you don't know who they tied to man they sneaky you know that's what they call them sneaky links man so i actually found this on twitter so i can't validate what's being stated here but what's said in this tweet is that the girl that trouble was with she actually knew that j mike was supposed to come that night she told him to come get his clothes now if that is true or not or come get his stuff if that is true man that's crazy you know what i mean like i don't even understand why you would put somebody in a line of fire like that and it's, it's not to say that you know, you have certain guys that say like, oh yeah, I don't care, you know, if that nigga come here, you know, he gonna have to deal with X, Y, Z, but don't put people in situations, man. Let them know. Now, if trouble knew, then that's a completely different topic, man. You know, that's something that, it's something that you gotta live with. And that's why I tell guys all the time, man, um, be mindful of who you talking to, man. And these guys is crazy. You might think you bad, but over a female and these guys will really take you off the map man they'll take you straight off the map with no hesitation you know but, uh check this clip out man and i'ma uh, bounce back to y'all in a few man he's allowed to michael jones to select the sheriff's deputies they say that his mother allowed them to talk to Jamichael Jones on the phone, and that's when they were able to convince the suspect to turn himself in. Now he's facing charges of home invasion, felony murder, and aggravated assault for the murder of Trouble, whose real name is Morel Samante Orr. Now Trouble, he was shot early Sunday morning at Lake St. James Apartments in Conyers. Now the Rockdale County Sheriff, he tells us that his staff worked overtime to get the suspect off the street and into custody. Take a listen. The one thing that we will not tolerate and don't like to tolerate is, is people becoming victims in this county. We've accomplished what we need to accomplish is to get someone off the street for committing a crime such as this. I feel like this is a sad situation. And not to say that this doesn't happen all the time, because it does, man. Let's be honest, man. Guys are getting killed out here every day because of a female. You know what I mean? And half of the time, you know, the guys are not checking the females. They come in right after the... The, the, the guys that she messing with, you know what I mean? And you got to understand, man, women are stimulated off of money. So what you don't do, they look for another guy to, to do for them. You know what I mean? Don't, don't lose who you are on the inside over so-called love, man. Now, she a rider, she a rider. But half of y'all, y'all be really riding for the wrong, wrong side, man. And these females are really have you in sticky situations that you can't get yourself out of. While J. Mike is locked up, she's going to be out here living her life. She will move on to the next dude. That's just how life is. But a, a soul was lost. You know what I mean? You can't bring trouble back off of that. So it's unfortunate. I hope this wakes up a lot of people. You know what I mean? If... A female is willing to put you in situations like that because I've been in similar situations like that. And for the most part, man, it's just best to meet a female at a hotel. Don't even waste your time trying to go to her house. You know what I mean? Even if you do have your gun on you, it's still a possibility, man. You can slip up. We all we all get caught slipping. It be that one time when you least suspect it. 
But that being said, man, rest in peace to that boy Trouble. I don't wish that on nobody. And um, let this be a learning lesson for the youth, man, and, and even adults, man. Put your mind first. Put your heart second. Let it go. Like that, Cato Media, I'm out. Rockdale County deputies responded to a um, shooting. It was at the Lake St. James apartment complex in Conyers. Um, uh, upon deputies' arrival, um, they observed the male, black male, lying on the ground suffering from a gunshot wound. Unfortunately, the uh, victim did die on the scene. Mr. Morel Orr, which is the victim, I believe his name was Trouble. Um, he is a Atlanta rapper, was visiting a female friend at the um, complex. Um, and Mr. Jamichael Jones um, did know the female, and it was a domestic situation. I wouldn't say that this has anything to do with the area. Um, I think it was an isolated situation. It was a domestic situation. Um, we are asking the public for their help in locating uh, Jamichael Jones. Um, he is from the Atlanta Jonesboro area that we know of. The current um, warrants that we do have um, for the um, Jamichael su uh, suspect um, is, is we have home invasion, home invasion, so that does tell you that he was at home. home. Um, um, and well, he entered a home, home, I'm sorry. sorry. Um, we um, have felony, felony murder, murder. Um, um, and, and we also have aggravated assault. assault.